Once again, this tail had a couple of bugs, and um, while it's not nearly as bad as the second one, it's still there and it can kind of ruin your experience, so just beware of that. Hey, if you want to help me get to a thousand subscribers, I would really appreciate that. Don't forget, if you don't like the content anymore, you can always unsubscribe. Enjoy the video. To start off, you'll receive this book, but you can actually find the place you have to go to on the map, as you can see right there. And you'll want to kind of come up on the south side of it, uh, as you can see. And following along here, you'll be able to find the door where you're going to start the tale, basically. This humble trinket. Once Jack opens that door, you're going to be able to pull the levers here on the side. Uh, you want to make sure that you follow the exact order I'm doing here, otherwise they won't work. After that, you'll see a journal in this shipwreck that you're going to want to read. And then you can start swimming down. But keep an eye on the left side because there's going to be a journal coming up here. And you can see the journal right there. You'll then just want to keep swimming up until you run into this rock. Now, this did glitch for me the first time, and when he went through, he didn't open it. If that does happen, you can go back to the first room, and there's a mermaid where you can resume the tail. And this will take you over to the next room. Once you swim through there, you'll be able to find this geyser where you want to launch yourself up and pull on this pulley. Make sure you don't miss this jump, it's a little tricky. Um, but once you jump on this yellow coral here, you're going to want to go right first. Because there's going to be a journal. And you can read it right there. After that, you can jump up here and you can continue the path. So up on this next part, you're going to want to make sure that you hold D or whatever your right key is. And this will get you accommodation. So you can see right here, I'm turning to the right instead of going through the path that you would normally take. And then you're going to fall into this big room where the Dutchman is. So looking at the ship from here, you're going to want to turn right and get a lever. Once you flip this one, you'll turn around and swim under the ship. And after surfacing, you'll be able to see the second lever. From there, turning left, the third lever is exactly in front of the Dutchman. After that, you're ready to climb up on the Dutchman. Jack is going to talk for a while, but after that, you can go down and get the dagger to unlock the door. The dagger will light the way up here up until the door opens. And if you turn a bit left, there's going to be a journal right there. After that, you have to solve the puzzle on the organ. So you're going to start on that scratched key that's in the middle of the screen right now. And then just follow the book in front of you. Don't forget to skip a key after the fifth one. And that's going to activate the battle. And there's going to be a lot of waves of enemies, but this battle is super straightforward. You just have to keep killing them. And eventually the door is going to open and you'll be able to go on. So swimming through here, you find some mermaids. You want to kill them. And then there's going to be a book in this cage down at the bottom. From that book, you're going to want to cut the ropes here so the little shipwreck pieces can go up. After that, you can swim up, and then you're going to want to park across the wreckage that you just released. And coming up, there's going to be a lever on the wall, and you're going to want to pull that one. After that, you can turn around and jump down into the water, and you want to swim towards these waterfalls. Because there's going to be a lever behind one of them. 
After pulling that one, you're gonna have to swim down to the bottom. And you're done with the livers in this room. So then you want to swim back up and park her across again. Because there's gonna be a journal hidden right here. From the journal, you'll want to turn around and jump up here, climb this ladder. And as you can see, there's a pulley right there, so you want to pull this down. And this is going to let you pass to the next area. Allow me to assist. Jack is going to open the door eventually. And then you're just going to want to run through this area real quick, up until you find this room. Here you're going to have to wait for Jack to find the Siren's Heart and then you can use it to solve the puzzle. Once he's done with the dialogue, he'll reach his hand through and you can grab the heart and put it in the one that's missing it. And then you want to change their stance so they're both aiming up. Activating it with this statue. This is going to open this door. And you're going to find yourself in this room with the big shipwreck. And from here you can walk up to that mermaid and make sure you position them correctly which is pointing all the way down. Then you can turn around to use this pulley. Make sure you pull this all the way up. And then you can run up to the top of it. And then you'll have to shoot this mermaid twice to position it correctly. Turning around here, you'll see another mermaid and I got a little stuck here for a second. You'll just have to shoot this one once. And then you can run back to the pulley and activate the mermaids, shooting this one. Then you just have to raise the shipwreck up again and then run across. As you can see, the waterfall is gone, so you can jump through. So running up to this mast, there's going to be a lever on your right. You want to pull that one first, jump back on the mast, and then run across. Up until you see this lever, then pull that one, and you'll just want to run back across to find the third lever. Right there. Now you can run back across here, and there's going to be a little siren puzzle before you can move on from the room. And you want to point both of them to the top. Once you've done that, you can walk back and shoot the mermaid to activate them. That'll open the door, and then you can jump down. Now there's going to be a few ocean crawlers here that you're going to want to kill. And you can see the ammo chest I just walked up to. On the left of that, there's going to be a journal. Moving on from that journal, there's going to be a couple doors that are coming up. And this first one, you're just going to have to park her up here really quickly. Using the geyser. And cut this rope. That's going to open the door. And you just have to hit this flashing thing. And you want to set these three mermaids up like this. And there is also an ammo crate at the bottom if you do need ammo. And you can activate them by shooting that mermaid. The room will eventually fill with water and there's going to be a lever that you want to pull next to this red coral. From there you can turn around and go to the blue coral and there's gonna be a book next to it. Moving on through here you'll end up in this room and you're gonna want to use this pulley to get to the next lever. Once it's all the way up you want to climb up and get across. Jumping to the right you'll find the next lever. And then you can jump down into the water to get the third one. Then you're going to have to pull the both of the masts up and get across. Now as you go along to this next area, be very careful. You don't want to go too far in and you don't want to be too loud and to stop the cutscene. If you mess this up, you'll have to start the tale all over. I was just taking little baby steps here. 
up until this point, and then you'll have to wait for them to finish talking. The last line will be begin the ritual. And once that's over, you'll get the commendation, and then you can get the next journal that's on the right on this wall. You can see the blue coral right there, and it's right behind it. And a few steps from here, you'll be able to find the last journal. Right next to that chair. After you read that journal, you can go find the other commendation right here. This is where you're going to get the dead man's key. Turn these blocks exactly the same way I did. First one's shark. Second is siren. Third one being the trident. Fourth being the cannonballs, and the last one is the ship. And this will reveal the key. With the key in hand, you can turn around and walk up to the chest, open it, and pick up whatever is inside. And that's another commendation complete. So from the chest, you're gonna turn around and you'll see this big door. Uh, this is supposed to be open, as you can see, for me it glitched. Uh, there is thankfully a checkpoint right there, so if you do reload, you can come back to this door, but it's still annoying because you're going to have to sail back here. And as you can see right here, I can resume the tail and it teleports me back. And the door was open this time, thankfully. So I'm not going to cover this entire fight, but just a couple of hints here. Jack is going to need help every now and then, and I'll show the pulleys and where they are. This one you're just going to have to lower, he gets on, and then you can put it back up so he can go over. After a lot more fighting, he's gonna want help again, and the pulley is next to Davy Jones here, as you can see. And you'll just have to point it towards him, he'll climb on again, and he'll go across. And this time he's gonna actually throw down a useful crate, because there's, um, cannonballs here, and you're gonna need those later. Once he falls down like this, you're gonna have to cut the rope that's holding him up. And that rope is right behind him, as you can see. Then he's just going to drop some cannons and you'll fire at Davy Jones up until the barrier that he has breaks. And after that, the tail is complete. 